Our last Kotonowaka feature, reviewing his January Fighting Spirit Prize performance, was entitled Big Break Beckons. But the question mark at the end was in fact surplus. He did indeed break out some more in March. And not, whoops I did it again, but a chest thumping, you betcha I did it again. A first win over Saitama Sakae senior Hokuto Fuji and push out of Takara Fuji was followed by this brutally direct approach which left Ishida's neck much the worse for wear. Waka's worried human reaction of stark contrast to his moves. At the time, the 24-year-old could not know how big his next bout would be. Against a man he'd once beaten by scoop and only lost to by default. Failing to achieve with the rightward feint that sees off so many, Waka was disturbed to find his strength yet outdone by Takayasu's his left arm clear second to his foe's hungry right. And having been, as Takayasu described, methodically neutralized, Waka was rammed, bulldozed and thrown. But a mere blip it looked, as he then set a new top flight best. Okinomi fled with twisting hips, then punctured from below. Shiyoshoma resisted, wrenched leftwards, then dragged from overhead for an eighth loss to Waka in nine. <laughs> Sadanoumi checked with the chest, parried on the backward step and expelled from behind. Endo's left arm blocked, then worked around till his chest pulled back. Wrigley Tobizaru confined, lured into pulling, clamped, then disposed of when wrenching free. And Dai Eisho, with no reverse gear, duly bopped from above for six straight wins and a marvellous second place. Now, assessing Waka's final five is not easy. Like Takayasu, he lost three times, which casts doubt on his big match composure and judgement. Not least when he elected to dodge despite vastly superior height and weight. A choice that so angered high school teammate Takakesho 
that he punched a wall in disgust. Waka then optimistically tried this clamp out despite the obvious strength in his foe's knees. Good practice for that playoff when viewed back now. Waka's lugging scoop, while full of strength, was but a desperate measure with his belt so tightly gripped. Yet alongside such failures came the resounding success of beating two Ozeki straight, which is hardly the act of a choker. Shodai was matched for chest first impact, then manipulated from the right. Mitake Umi was then scooped and sent packing. But then came this. Predicated solely on the belief he would land inside right once outside left attached. Horshaw Ryu's stylish swivels gave the lie to that, and once the head came out, the left came over. Deflating at least half of Waka's celebratory balloons. Horshaw Ryu on 7 7 clearly had pressure too, but handled it better, and Waka must reflect. The Fighting Spirit Award, we assume, was in praise of his never-step-back approach, which all coaches and wrestlers inwardly love. And even in defeat, I feel I kept driving forward, the man himself says. Continuing, My bad points I will work on, my good points I'll aim to bring out further. Waka's career high rank should well be renewed, and if a winning score follows, he'll be called the real deal.